Hello again world, PACRT Colonel sitting here in my nice recliner from the probably about 1970s. Nice rust collar but very comfortable. Um, I'm sitting here today because I want to talk to you about something that's kind of on my nerves right now. I was just at a restaurant and I had a fellow sitting next to me. He was Looks like he had one of everything on the menu on his table. And he was open carrying, which I support and I feel that you have the right to. Um, especially in Pennsylvania, which is an open carry state. More power to you. That's not what I had a problem with. He was... Shut up. Sorry. The dogs are barking. He was sitting there telling his friend, who was with him, that... Uh, if he was in that movie theater in Aurora, or if somebody like him was there, the guy who shot all those people would have never had a chance to shoot all those people. <sighs> yeah. Bullshit. Now, I think it's bullshit because, first off, Given your physical physical condition and appropriate age or estimated age, I'm going to go with the most training you have is probably a hunter safety course or your grandfather or father taught you everything you know about firearms. That's good. How much did your hunter safety course or even lethal weapons training or your grandfather or your father or whoever else you might have had in your life teaching you... How much do they teach you about an active shooter scenario? Have you ever been gassed? Have you ever been under the stress of being shot at? <sighs> America in general thinks it's like this big ass video game where nothing, if you kill somebody, you feel nothing, you do nothing, you get a medal. Okay, it's not Call of Duty. There are real consequences, and whether you take the life of some asshole who's trying to kill millions, or just 50 or so in a movie theater, or, or just one person, you have to live with that. And unless you're a sick, sadistic son of a bitch, it's probably going to bother you, at least a little bit. Even your friendly neighborhood cops who have shot somebody typically feel bad about it, even if it was a scumbag who deserved it. That's why they get to go to counseling afterwards. Now, tragic events in your lifetime that you have to deal with. I know a little bit about these. I spent a couple years of my life going to the VA hospital three times a week consistently to see some psychiatrists about things that I saw and or lived through in a war zone. Okay... I'm not going to drop that on you now, and I don't want to brag about it. I don't want any thank yous. I don't want any anything. It's not a sob story. I'm trying to bring light to the situation and say that unless you've been in a situation where you've been shot at, you've shot somebody, and you've dealt with tear gas or OC spray or whatever the hell was going on in that movie theater, the chances of you being Joe Schmo who bought a firearm because he thought it was cool or he wanted to be a survivalist or a prepper or some bullshit taking out an active shooter in a movie theater, or anywhere else for that matter, is slim to none. You probably try and hide, because that's a general reaction for a lot of, even, even individuals who have lots of training on it. Human reaction is not to jump in front of a hell of bolt fire and kill where it's coming from. No. Stop watching movies, dude. Unplug yourself from your whatever it is, your made-up reality for a little while, and live in the real world, okay? I think it's completely distasteful to even presume or present the fact that you would have done something fantastic. Look, even if you're freaking Jackie Chan or Bruce Willis or whoever the hell is the current day action star or whatever, you... It's not going to happen, bro. 
I know one person out of everybody that I've met in my entire life that has had the testicular fortitude to stand up to somebody who's doing some shit like that. It was a bank robbery in Florida. And my friend, Eddie, yeah, I know Eddie. If you see this video by chance, Eddie, what's up, brother? Eddie had the testicular fortitude to stop bank robbers from... Well, I guess they robbed the bank and they were leaving and he chased them down and I guess took their guns or some nonsense and kept them from leaving and got them arrested. The cop showed up. He had a firearm in his hand because he had taken off the guy. Crazy situation. Now, the world is not full of people like Eddie. The world is full of people that probably don't even know how to use the firearms they just purchased, that they're carrying openly on their hip. I tell you what. Next time I see you, for shits and giggles, I'm going to go up to you and see if I can take that off of you. I bet you in like three seconds. Like from, I'll even introduce myself and then three seconds later I'll be holding your firearm. Want to try it? Hero. I think it's tasteless and you should be doing something else besides bragging about shit you probably can't do. Why don't you do something constructive? Why not... I don't know, get together with your buddies who are open gu open carry supporters and try and raise some funds. Like, do a charity campaign and and help, the f like, pay for the family's counseling or something to deal with their losses. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with America? You've sickened me. These videos will be really fun throughout the time. I hope you stick around and watch.